All right, hello everybody. <clears throat> when I say everybody, I mean the four of you that watch these videos. <laughs> uh, just kidding, but kind of serious. Anyways, uh, so I just want to jump on here real quick. I got a couple of different things that are in my head. Uh, and don't tell my wife, but I think I might have been wrong on something. Uh, that's a joke. So, okay, let me... All right, so in 2 Thessalonians, not going to grab my Bible because uh, I'm driving. I got berated last time. Uh, I appreciate the concern for my safety. Uh, <clears throat> so when it talks about, uh, for that day shall not come unless there be a uh, apostasy falling away first uh, and the man of sin be revealed, right? Then that day uh, is it will come, right? And then there's something. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to grab my. Gonna have to grab it. Gonna have to do it. more or less. I mean, I'm going to butcher the exact scripture, but for safety reasons, we're not going to read it. Um, Alright, follow me here. I'm going to try and make this quick, because anything over like five minutes takes like two hours to upload from my phone. So, uh, so the falling away, the separation of the wheat and the tares, right? That's, that's what that is in my eyes. The apostasy, it's the falling away from faith, right? Why would you take the you know what if you have faith in Jesus? To me, there's only two reasons anyone would take it. One, it's so they can go back to the world and how it used to be, um, be worldly, or two, because they're afraid. They have fear in their heart in one form or another. I don't see any other reason why anyone would take it, right? So, Falling away from faith, right? Super involved. Obviously, we see all the different uh, wolves and sheep's clothing that have become super popular over the past several years, uh, you know, with the, the internet and YouTube, and everyone's like, oh, yeah, I love you. You know, people that have, you know, over a million followers and tell you it's okay if you continue to sin and live in the world. Yeah. So, falling away is already happening, right? We see that, and it's pretty much all divided at this point, right? You've either... If you haven't taken the you-know-what by now, there's a good chance, right? Uh, unless you're put under severe pressure, which is coming, uh, you're probably not going to take it. So, the wheat and the tares have been separated for the most part. Um, and the man of lawlessness shall be revealed. Okay, so August 4th, you guys know I've been looking at the mid-August time frame, right? August 4th, uh, Obama has his 60th birthday party. Six. Okay? Um, big banquet. Big, could say it is the, the unveiling in a sense. I realize it's not exactly what everyone pictured as like this world savior coming out. And Obama still might do that. Um, after we go, hopefully. Uh, but I think it's interesting, the timing of his 60th birthday and big, extravagant, $11 million Martha Vineyard Mansion, yada, yada, okay? Um, do, do, do. Going down Thessalonians, 2 Thessalonians, chapter 2, uh, towards the middle end part, where he talks about um, the man of lawlessness will be revealed and that Jesus, the Lord, I don't, I forget exactly which name, doesn't matter, I'm talking about the same dude, uh, will destroy him with the brightness of his coming. Now, the brightness of his coming is saying what's going to destroy him. Not being thrown in the lake of fire, right? These are two different events. 
Tim Foster 405 does an excellent job at walking through all the different scriptures that show that when Jesus comes in the clouds, right, uh, everyone panics, fall on us, the rocks, hide us from the face uh, of him, seal six, right? Um, that is when the Antichrist is destroyed. However, he then comes back later with that head wound, right? And a lot of people have, have you know, Obama's got that scar on his head already. Um, but I think it's going to be real time. So, when he appears in the clouds, and the brightness of his coming, that's when we leave. That's when the Antichrist is killed, right after he's unveiled. Could be the August 4th birthday party. Uh, and then we leave, and then shortly after that, he raises up. And, uh, you know, then he, he begins his, his time. Uh, man, I got a lot of stuff I want to talk about. Might make a couple parts. Ah, I'm already at six minutes. Yeah, we'll just do it. It's all right. Um, all right, so that was one part I wanted to talk about. Second part. Uh, well, Lucifer, right, wants to do everything God does, but... Him. He wants to exalt himself above God, right? Change everything that God has done into his image, right? Uh, you know, they're doing this with food. You know, a GMO food, you're changing God's original makeup design. You know, hybrids and GMOs, completely different. I've talked about that before. If you think I'm wrong, please leave a comment and I will show you uh, that I'm not. Uh, so we see, obviously, he's doing it with uh, people, right? Okay, so those of us who have Jesus Christ in us, we have the light inside of us, yeah? We are the candlestick that glows on the table stand, right? The light is within us. Now, Satan wants to mimic everything God does, right? So, <laughs> this is just, this blew my mind when it came to me. So God is a white light, right? All-encompassing white light. I forget where that is, but I know it makes somewhere specific mention of white light. Okay? Now, we all know, at least the majority of us... Wow, that is annoying. I don't know if you guys could have heard that or not. Now, we all know uh, one of the ingredients in the uh, juice uh, is... Illuminated via black light. Black light. <laughs> the exact opposite of white light, right? So you can see it in a black light. The light that is within, well, hopefully not you, but within them is a light that is only revealed in the darkness. The black, uh, the, through a black light. <laughs> that is Lucifer's light is now in, right? Do you guys see what I'm saying? Versus Jesus and God's white light. Now you have the enemies, the mimicker, the copycat, his black light, right? I know you guys know what I'm talking about, right? The Lucifer dot, 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 race, put it, put it together, right? Uh, Samuel Michael 102, you can look up that ingredient. It's not Samuel Michael, I hope you understand what I'm doing with the the first letter of the word, right? Um, that blew my mind when I thought of that. I'm like, wow, a black light is within you instead of the white light of Christ. Uh, Mind-blowing to me, anyways. Third. Uh, I will try to put a link in the description. Um, but Off-Grid Desert Farming by Paul and... Adrian said or Paul and Paul and something. If you if you if you search up off grid desert farming with Paul, it'll pop up, right? I think one of his latest videos calls it something about um, I think the thumbnail says surge teams. It's whoever his press secretary is, um, JB his press secretary, whatever her name is, with the red hair. Uh, it has a picture of her. It says search forces. Watch that video, okay? 
what it does, it talks about, and I remember seeing this a while back, so it's not uh, a new clip by any means. Uh, the search team, the part, the very first part, so it'll be like three different clips. That is not, don't read into that. Uh, three, three different clips. Three different clips. Uh, the first part is a new clip, right, from his press secretary. The second clip is a military man. Okay, that's an old, older clip. Uh, I remember watching months ago. Uh, still relevant, okay? And then there's a clip, uh, older yet, of uh, this is when Trump was in office. Uh, and it had to have been in June, July 2020. Uh, anyways, talks about... <clears throat> The military being in place, they're already in place, they've been in place uh, for several, several months now, that when the emergency mandate, the emergency order to do uh, what they're wanting to do goes out, and I'll get to it, that uh, all Americans are to receive the juice uh, within 24 hours. They are set up to do that within 24 hours, okay? With uh, After the announcement goes out, okay? Now, as you know, I've been looking at, along with Paul, uh, the mid-August time frame. Now, when I had originally done my calculations, uh, what the Lord was showing me, He was showing me August 13th. Oh, by the way, uh, hourly watch pretty sure that's what it's called yeah hourly watch it's a brother and sister uh, in Christ uh, pretty sure they're married uh, yeah it's got to be hourly watch I'm pretty sure that's what it is I'll try and leave that link down below too uh, watch that video uh, it's one of their they, they posted it yesterday uh, so July 29th uh, you're not gonna believe this or something it has a picture of the Aurora as the thumbnail the Aurora Borealis, uh, Northern Lights. Uh, watch that video, particularly pay attention to, and I remember them talking about this Comet 323 a long time ago. Uh, the, the timing, the, the timing on it is, it's literally, it's in place 11th, 12th, and 13th, okay? That is when it's in this specific place, and then it moves out, that along with Comet Barrow. When you watch the video, you'll see what I'm talking about, okay? So, within 24 hours of an announcement going out, the military is in place to deliver the juice within 24 hours to all Americans, okay? The FCC and the F to the EMA and the C to the Washington, D.C. Uh, are having a emergency test announcement on August 11th. August 11th. Uh, and, okay, so in my mind, that's where this is going, is August 11th. It's not a test. They know what they're doing, obviously, right? Uh, and it's the same exact two organizations that are named in the video uh, that I'm going to link below with uh, Desert Farming, that guy, okay? I already told you what those were. Uh, so, August the 11th, now this is just a hypothesis, okay? I'm not saying this is the way it's going to play out, although uh, I really do think it's going to play out this way. Now, now I said before, I forget uh, if I went on or if I went on a uh, sidetrack. So, Paul and I have been looking at mid-August, right? Paul specifically has been looking at the 11th. I came to the 13th. Okay. When I saw that video this morning from Hourly Watch about Comet 323 and Comet Barrel, and their time frame was the 11th through the 13th, okay? And this FCC announcement is coming out the 11th, and we know within 24 hours the juice will be delivered, okay? So that puts us at the 12th, or through the 12th into the 13th, right? If it says starting tomorrow which would be the 12th, uh, so over the 12th and then the 13th. 
That's the, that's the three days. The 11th, the 12th, the 13th. The 11th when it goes out, right? The 12th when everyone's hunted down. And the 13th um, is when, I believe, we leave. Um, after that three days of testing, and Paul and I have shown this in videos before. I don't know what happened to bit shoot. I think it blocked, it deleted my, I don't, I've tried several times to upload the video Paul and I did. It was a three and a half hour video packed with information. And I can't, maybe I'll try, uh, try to create an account on a different platform and, and upload it there, but it's not letting me. It says it's uploaded, it says it's available, but then you go to click the link and it says page not found. So, for whatever that is, that is. Uh, but the timing is just, it's unbelievable to me. Like, the 11th, the 12th, the 13th, the three days Paul and I have been talking about, the three days, the three and a half days, where the world will be celebrating, right? Now, picture this, right? Those that have taken it. In two miles, take exit 99 toward County Road 17. A certain government agency just came out and said that uh, they highly, highly recommend or want or they put it in writing. I'm not sure exactly what they did, but they want the um, juiced people to also wear a face diaper uh, to protect the unjuiced. Okay, that's going to cause a division. Because I can already tell you, I know several people who have already gotten the juice who are said, no, I'm not wearing another face diaper not going to do it. Why would I get the, the juice if I have to wear a diaper? No, I'm not going to do it. So you're already really mad at the unjuiced, right? I told you this division was coming. Many of you already saw it as well. Uh, so they just came out and they want the, uh, the juiced people to wear face diaper to protect the unjuiced. That's not going to happen. That's not going to work out. So imagine, imagine what the juiced up people, and remember, we still have almost two weeks. We got a week and a half of propaganda. In half a mile, take exit 99 toward County Road 17. Until this announcement comes, okay? <clears throat> Imagine how delighted they are all going to be when they hear that everybody has to take it. And we can finally get this herd. <clears throat> I don't want to say the other word. You know what I'm saying? Take exit 99, and then keep right at the fork. And good, those dirty people. Oh, I get off here. Who don't have it are endangering us all, right? We, we already see these articles. I've talked about it several times over. Imagine how delighted they are going to be when that announcement comes out. They are keep right at the fork. Exactly what the Bible says. Uh, toll road. Man, I don't want to take a toll road. <sighs> All right. Um, imagine how excited they're going to be when that announcement goes out. They're going to be doing what the Bible says. Cheering, giving each other gifts, hip, hip, hooraying. Keep right at the fort. Now I'm referring to the two witnesses. Now my hypothesis is um, in, in one form, uh, maybe in the spiritual sense, but not the physical sense, right? Merge onto County Road 17, then turn left onto the ramp to Elkhart. Scripture plays out um, many different ways, many different times, right? So I think it, it's possible to consider that the two witnesses... Turn left onto the ramp to Elkhart, then keep right at the fork. Turn le oh, left? What a joke. Um, that the two witnesses are... The Jews and Gentiles who have Jesus Christ. Are though is it possible that those are the two witnesses? Right? So those that haven't taken the Jews, right? Are gonna be those those Jews and Gentiles uh, who have full faith in, in the Lord Jesus Christ. I think it's I think it's a possibility. I shouldn't I don't think we should rule it out. I'm not saying that it's right, but I don't think we should rule it out. And if that's the case, right? Going along with this hypothetical, the 11th, the 12th, the 13th, what happens after three and a half days? Well, you know what? The skies part, the skies open, right? Things seal the six. Continue on County Road 17 for three quarters of a mile. And Jesus Christ, and God, God calls them up, and people see every see the two witnesses go up. 
Is that a correlation? Do you see the correlation? Could that be seal six when we leave three and a half days after this severe testing, which Paul and I have talked about several times, right? There's going to be a time where the, that the crowd, the world is going to celebrate because they've theoretically or, or spiritually killed those who have not taken the juice. In a quarter mile, turn left onto Middlebury Street. They have overtaken them, right? Oh, wow, man. I see, I think I'm onto something there. I think it's possible. Now, here's... <clears throat> oh, yeah, I still gotta go left. I'm supposed to turn around, I forgot that. Now, here's where I think I could have been wrong. Turn left onto Middlebury Street. I'm still right in a sense, uh, and I think many of you are gonna see that as well. But, um, or, you know, it's just one, one application, right? But I have said before that I don't think it's gonna come through a federal mandate. I think it's gonna come through the people, at least here in the US, right? Other governments uh, have obviously made those mandates. <clears throat> um, so, in lieu of this... Uh, Continue on Middlebury Street for one mile. I don't wanna say newly acquired information because I've seen it before, but uh, brought back to my attention, uh, you know, I could be wrong and it could come through through a, a federal mandate. Uh, with that FCC announcement on August 11th. 11th, 12th, 13th. The, the two witnesses are spiritually dead. No, I don't want to say that. The two witnesses are... In a quarter mile, turn left on the county road 15. I don't want to say hypothetically. I can't think of the word I'm, think, I'm trying to think of. Are, you know, like I said, the, the, the world, the juice, the, the image, right? I still think those people, they are the image, um, are going to be hip hip hooray. Take the next left onto County Road 15. That they have conquered the two witnesses, the Jews and the Gentiles who have Jesus Christ. Ooh, I got to go left again. Uh, I think that's about it for this time. Continue on County Road 15 for half a mile. Um, you know, I really wish I was at a computer to be able to drop all these links and do all that. It's so much easier, but I'm on the road a lot right now. Uh, so I'm doing the best I can. Uh, I will try to upload those, those links. Uh, I did tell you about the people. In a quarter mile, turn left onto Old US 20 Toledo Road. Um, so keep that in mind and uh, yeah any questions comments please leave them down below um, you know this is such an exciting time such an exciting time super fearful time if you don't have Jesus Christ right there's there's no no reason for take the next left onto old US 20 Toledo Road we shouldn't have any fear um, no matter how long we're here we know that God will provide for us, right? We shouldn't have, we shouldn't shouldn't have to fear anything. So please don't. Exciting, exciting stuff. All right, take care, everyone. God bless. Jesus Christ, coming back.